Have you ever wondered how to select a transparent or translucent object in Photoshop? Well, today we're gonna do just that, just by using blend modes like multiply and screen. And we're gonna combine that with blend if. It's gonna be a lot of fun whether you wanna select an object or change the background. It's gonna be really simple, so without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are again in the magical world of Photoshop and if you wish to follow along using the photos shown in the video, make sure to download them using the links in the description. So here we have an image of a man standing beside the window and above it, just above it, in the layers panel, we have another image of the clouds. Now what if you want the clouds to be behind the windows without making any intricate selections? If you have a closer look at this photo, everything outside the window is completely bright, totally bright. So what if we could tell Photoshop to make a selection based on brightness levels? Is it possible? Well, it is. Just let's make a gradient, okay? Let's make a shape and just like that. This is showing, this is just for illustration purposes and we're gonna fill it with say, a gradient from black to white, okay? Black to white, looks really fine. Okay, nice. Now, if we change the blend mode of this one, let's delete, delete the strokes. If we change the blend mode of this one to say, multiply, look what it does. It deletes everything, which is 100% white, okay? Keeps everything, which is 100% black, and makes everything darker, which is gray. And it's a gradual process. Now, if you change the blend mode to screen, just the opposite happens. It keeps everything, which is 100% white, deletes everything, which is 100% black, and kind of brightens up everything, which is kind of grayish. So that's what it does. So simply, if we change the blend mode of this one to multiply, it deletes everything which is 100% white. Now, those whites which are deleted totally are being filled up by the whites in this layer, thus giving us a complete image outside the window. But here's the thing, the clouds also show up in the walls. Why? Because the walls were not completely black. They were dark. So the clouds are being dark here and we, we don't want to show it up here. So here's where blend if kicks in. So we're gonna right click, select blending options. Also, double click on the right hand side of the layer, does the same thing, brings up the layer styles dialog box. Now in this, what do we have to do is, we want to delete the dark areas of this layer from this layer. Note this, we want to delete or make invisible the dark areas of this layer, which means the background layer, from this layer. Now what is the background layer? It's the underlying layer. We are on this layer. The background layer is the underlying layer, the layer which is under it. So all you have to do, you have to take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. We want to delete the dark areas. It goes from dark to bright, right? We want to delete the dark areas or make dark areas invisible from this one, but the dark areas of the underlying layer. So as you take it, you see it disappears. Now as you can see, the selection is a little harsh. Here's how to make it smooth. Press and hold alter option, click on this, and just bring it apart, kind of makes it a little smooth, just like that. And it looks kind of nice. And there we go, click OK. Still we have a little of the clouds left. Simple, create a mask, click on this mask button, take the brush, make sure the foreground color is black and just simply paint over it. And there you go, it's gone. Just like that, as simple as that. You don't have to be uh, very intricate, just like this. And if you painted a little extra by mistake, for example, you wear it black, and you painted a little extra just like this, all you have to do, you have to just swap it. How to swap it? Press X to toggle between the foreground and the background color, and just paint with white in this area. And by the way, if it's not black and white, press D to set it to black and white. Now here's one more kind of technical problem. If you have a look, this should be the reflection of the clouds, not the sea. How the heck did the sea appear? So here's what you need to do. Select the rectangular marquee tool. This one is the rectangular marquee tool and select this area just like that. And with this layer selected, press controller command J. This puts that area into its own, own layer. Now, controller command T, bring the anchor point to this and then rotate. Press and hold shift and rotate. It will rotate it. 15 degrees, just 15 degrees straight. And there we go, there we have it. But it's kind of dark, why is it dark? Well, you have this reflection here and also this area has been covered by this. So we have to erase this area from this layer. How to do that? We already have this layer selection. So press and hold control command, click on this. Now we have a selection of this, 
Come to the mask of this one and fill it with black. How to fill it with black? Make sure the foreground color is black, press X and then Alt Backspace. Option Delete if you are using a Mac and done. Let's move on to the next example and in this example we are going to be talking about situations when the background is black. How to select transparent objects? As you can see in this photo, we want to select the smoke and we want to place it anywhere we want. Now there are two ways of doing it. Number one, using the blend mode. Number two, using blend if. And number three, there's always a number three, using a combination of both as we did in the first example. Now simply if you want the smoke to be in this one, for example if we were smoking cigarette not, and not faking it, where's the smoke man? So let's copy the smoke here. Simple. Drag the background layer, bring it to this one and just paste it here. Simple. Now change the blend mode. We're gonna try both. Change the blend mode to say screen. This time we wanna delete everything which is 100% black. And as explained in the first example, we did we drew that rectangle with a gradient. If you select the blend mode screen, everything that is 100% black deletes. Everything which is 100% white stays. And everything which is kind of gray brightens. So let's see screen. Now it looks really nice, right? You can just keep it here just like that. Let's try blend F. So let's turn it to normal. And let's try blending options and let's go blend F. And we want to delete everything which is black, everything which is dark from this layer. Not the underlying layer this time. Not the darks of the underlying layer, but the darks of this layer. So this time, let's take this layer, of this layer, just like that. Selection is a little harsh. Press Alt and click on this, just like this. And it looks really nice. This also works the same. It's kind of just like that. You can do this. Click OK. Now, if we just simply turn it off, we have it on a transparent background, right? Same thing. You can change also the blend mode to screen. There we go. And place it any way you want, just like this. And make it a little bigger if you want. And maybe it's a lot of color ish. So let's go ahead and add a black and white adjustment layer. So black white, there we go. And but we want the black and white adjustment layer to just be applied to the smoke. But it also looks great black and white, doesn't it? But just let's click on this button to apply just to the smoke. And maybe you wanna decrease the opacity of this, the black and white layer, just like that. And it's done, pretty much done. Have a look. Before, after, the smoke added. And by the way, smoking is injurious to health. Please, please, and I repeat, please. Do not smoke. I have never smoked in my entire life, okay? Learn from me. Do not smoke. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you learned something. Hope that was helpful. Just remember this. Multiply is a blend mode which deletes everything that is 100% white. Screen is a blend mode which is just the opposite of multiply and deletes everything which is 100% black. And you can always use blend if to make things visible or invisible based on brightness level. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating also. Don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss anything. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.